up? Welcome to the channel of a girl who has way too much free time on her hand and next to no self-confidence. <laughs> it's me, Serena Jade. Maybe we'll get through a video without self-deprecating self humor. So I took last week off because anxiety and mental health got the better of me, which is okay every once in a while. It sucks to admit, but it's okay. Hang on. Welcome to my hot mess room. Currently I'm working on Rey from Star Wars. Why did that just like take so much time to actually register? Anyways, so today's story time is going to be about the time I went to a gym show. That was like hella anticlimactic. Oh well. So I work a lot of different shows and I've worked a lot of conventions, um, anime, comic book, you know, things like that for a very long time. So one of my ex friends, uh, was doing a gym show down in Tucson, Arizona. I had this entire written, this entire thing written up as a script and then it got deleted and I was like, we'll just wing it like we do everything else in life. <laughs> um, so she asked me to go down and help her and I was like really excited because I don't leave the house unless it's for a convention. I just don't. I have no life. I sit, I sew, I eat. This is the life of the Serena. Uh, I called myself the Serena. I'm hilarious. Uh, so I like doing really weird and intense makeup. I toned it down for this video because I was trying to do something different and then I fucked up on my wings. And then, you know, now my wings are gonna cut a bitch, like they always do. I tried going small on the wings and it just did not work. So I decided I was gonna be super cute and get like all dressed up and everything. Cause you know, I am at home mostly in PJs, like pair of pants and a tank top like I am now. I was lazy and I decided to just throw a dress on top of my PJs because I did not want to fully didn't know. I put on a bra for this, okay? That that's the extent of why we're going for this. Um so I like really sporadic lip colors, right? So I had a blue velvet from Jeffree Star and so I did with I did a uh blue look that day and to cope with my anxiety, I, I, I was a heavy, I'm still a heavy hardcore nicotine user, but I vaped and smoked hookah like a chimney. And so because of large crowds, I would dip out every so often to go and vape to kind of like calm down because I am not good in social, sur you know, social interactions because I just freeze up. <laughs> How do you human? Don't hate me. That's literally like, they're going to hate me if I say one single thing. So let's just stand here, smile nicely, and hope that they don't hate us. We're working on my self-worth and counseling. Uh, so I'm minding my own business and I know what I look like and I know how guys react to me. So obviously I'm mentally prepared for the onslaught of uh, I wanted to look cute betrayal so mentally I'm uh, I'm prepared for the onslaught of really just creepy comments that I get from guys cuz it constantly happens I never can leave the house without being bugged the trials and tribulations of being a female um, so this guy comes out and anyone who's a smoker kind of knows like the thing that happens is that you kind of communicate like, hey, sup, how's your day going? We're here for like the next five minutes smoking, so we might as well like talk, I guess. <laughs> so it's a Middle Eastern gentleman and he comes up and he's like, oh, you're very beautiful and I'm when a person says I'm very beautiful, I'm like, oh, thank you. It's completely different than, yo, baby, jump on my dick. Because 
Somebody has said that to me before. Yeah! Hi! Welcome to my channel. Random, really strange things happen to me, and I'm not making it up. <laughs> this is only some of it. So, you know, I can tell the next thing that's going to come out of his mouth because he's still looking at me. It's going to be something that pisses me off. And I'm mentally preparing for it. But I didn't think it was going to be this, right? So he was like, you're very beautiful. But you know what would make you look even more beautiful? And I was like, oh, here, come, here it comes. I'm like, what? He's like, if you got rid of that blue lipstick, because obviously I'm wearing my Jeffree Star blue velvet, and I'm just like thinking, oh, hell no. This son bitch is not sitting here telling me what I can and cannot do, right? I don't even care. Like, that's crossing a line. I try to be respectful because I know everyone else's cultures are extremely different. Like, I am third generation it American Italian slash Sicilian on my grandfather's side, and I think eighth generation American Sicilian and Italian on my grandmother's side. Like, my family's been in the United States and they've been Americanized for at least a hundred years, if not more, right? So America's like a country made up of immigrants, even though it's primarily white dominated. <laughs> Gotta love white people, right? Um, so I try to like keep in mind everyone's um, different backgrounds and cultures because you know I can't sit there and be like oh well you have to Americanize yourself because you know you don't. You can be whatever you want. I really don't care. But he started crossing a line with me and it was just like all right buddy we're done. Shut shut this down. So he was like you would be more beautiful without blue lipstick and I was like oh wow I didn't know I was wearing this for you. And he's like well what does your husband think about that? And I was like all right, son, let me educate you on something. And so I told him, I don't wear this for you or for my husband. I wear this for myself. I look phenomenal in blue lipstick. I don't need your approval on whether or not I look good. So fuck off. So he gets up and he leaves me alone. And the next couple of times, like over the weekend, I kind of like just eye the uh, the smoking area to see if he's going out. And if he's going out, then I stay in until I see him walk by because I just, I'm, I'm trying to avoid confrontation. Like I was there to have fun time. I don't want to sit there and be a bitch the entire time. But like if I'm going to be told that I'll be prettier without blue lipstick as if it's up to somebody else to dictate what I can and cannot wear. Huh. He's gonna have a bad day and then I'm gonna avoid that situation so that way I don't draw him up any more drama. So one time he comes out as I'm sitting there and he was like, hey beautiful girl. And I'm like, oh, are you here to tell me what I would look prettier with? and what I can and cannot wear. He's like, no, I'm like, good, because I would just tell you to fuck off again. And he didn't really talk to me again that entire weekend. I think I made it clear that I wasn't going to deal with that at all. Like, don't, don't dare try and tell me what I can and cannot do. I am a female in the 21st century. 21st century? Yeah, 21st century. I choose what I can and cannot do. Yeah, it's 21st. That's really weird because it's 2020. Huh. Sorry, like, I was just thinking over it. I'm like, why do we call it the 21st century? That is something I need to Google later. Anyways, so I'm a female. I've had, I have the right to vote. I have the right to speak my mind. You cannot tell me what I can and cannot do. My husband cannot tell me what I can and cannot do. Granted, I'm pretty sure he would love to be able to be like, no, you cannot do that every once in a while when I get harebrained schemes and he's like, oh dear God, what have I, what have you done this time? Because there have been some points where he's questioned my sanity and rightfully so. But, you know, he goes along with it. Bless his soul. Um, 
So yeah, that is the time I told a guy to fuck off because he told me I would be prettier without blue lipstick. I am not your possession. I am not your thing to tell me what I, like, again, what I can and cannot do. Like, you're lucky I wasn't meaner. Because I can get 